Right, uh, next Rubbish. up, people, we've Rubbish. got um, something a little different for you. Uh, she's just been signed by a big agency in London, up and coming actress, Sasha Risa Claxton, everybody. Make a little bit of noise for her, thank you very much. Let's do it, Sasha. the show tonight. I thought I'd come on with something a little bit different. I'm a singer and an actress, but I wanted to give you um, a little piece of drama to take home with you. So this is the piece um, <laughs> by, called Random by Debbie Tucker Green. Dad always said to us, don't bring no polices back. Don't let no polices in. He'd say the same thing about boys. And then mum would chip in with her old school something about trouble this and trouble that, rare tear tear. We'd never listen too tough. No, we'd be bored by that bit. Trust me. So it was weird seeing not one but two pieces of police cars outside our yard. For all to see, obvious. For all to know, blatant, for all to chat about. Shame. Mum's gonna be mad. Dad's gonna cuss. Ain't me they're here for, so ain't my ass that's gonna get kicked. Junior best have one piece of excuse. Vrai, shoes on in the front room, they better be police. Boots on in the front room, they best be brave. I could smell dad's too sweet teal a mile off. Must be trying to poison them with sugar. But when I get in, mum's sitting there looking shook. Dad's standing looking like he after. Something too quiet about the house, something ain't right. So I step in, sock foot, and see two uniforms and a plain clothes sitting there, sipping their something. What? How do you know it's him? How do you know he was even there? How do you know he's not someone that just looks like him? How do you know, how do you know he ain't on Rose at one of his girls? Any one of them? How do you not know that? How do you know he's not just late? How do you know he's not with his boys, his mandem, his brers? No, not a gang. Why are you here? Why, why are you sitting there on my mum's good sofa in your outdoor shoes, sipping my dad's sweet tea and asking questions about my brother? Why are you here? Why? So he pulls out a clear plastic bag of a conversation stopper for all to clearly see what he is clearly trying to say. Mum looks away. Dad looking at them still. I clock the bag and its content and deny. So? It looks like his phone. What? Not man carry the same piece of phone. It looks like his phone, what? <laughs> My number was the last dialed on it. Oh. Oh, so it looks like his phone, yeah. My number was the last dialed on it, yeah. So it's his phone then, and so what? What's that brown stuff on it? Oh, blood. Since when does a man's bleed brown? When the blood's old and dry. Oh. Well, why ain't we where he is? Why ain't we gone yet? Why are we not in one of your flash pig cars with your sirens on? What if he's shook? I mean, what if he's asking for his family? What if he's asking for his mum, his dad, me? And they sit there sipping their too sweet tea and try to justify and comfort us with a... There's no need to hurry. There's no need to hurry. We're already way too late, and we never even know. Thank you. Okay, just really, really quickly, because I love the fact that everyone likes to show a bit of talent. As I said, I'm a singer as well, so I'm gonna give you a tiny, wingy little bit of a snippet, but later on you have to come to the after show party if you wanna hear one of my originals. But this is a song that really, really means something to me, so just a little bit of Lauren Hill, okay? So. As I look at what I've done, the type of life that I've lived, how many things I pray the Father will forgive. One situation involved a young man, he was the ocean, and I was the sand. He stole my heart like a thief in the night. Drove my senses and flurried my side. And I used 
used to love him. I used to love him, but now I don't.